Linux isn't just an operating system. It's a universe. A universe where every star is a different distro, each with its own purpose, its own fan base, and its own quirks. Today, we're diving into that universe, from the friendliest beginner options to the hardcore builds that make you earn every pixel. Welcome to Every Linux Distro Explained. Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distro, loved for its friendly user interface, clean design, and massive community support. Built on Debian, it's completely free and open source, letting you customize and share freely. Ubuntu also comes in many official flavors, Kubuntu for deep UI customization, Zubuntu and Lubuntu for lightweight performance, Mate for classic feel, Budgie for sleek modern looks, and Studio for creators. Great for beginners, developers, and privacy-conscious users, Ubuntu turned Linux into a global desktop contender. Now comes Debian, one of the oldest and most influential Linux distros, launched in 1993. Known for stability, security, and strict open source values, Debian is the foundation for countless others, including Ubuntu. It comes in three branches, stable for reliability, testing for balance, and unstable for the latest features. With its huge repository and trusted performance, Debian is perfect for servers, developers, and privacy-focused users. It's not flashy, but Debian is the backbone of the Linux world. Fedora is a cutting-edge Linux distro backed by Red Hat, known for showcasing the latest open-source technologies. It's developer-friendly, often the first to adopt new features like Wayland and Systemd. Fedora comes in spins with different desktops, GNOME by default, but also KDE, XFCE, and more. It's popular with programmers who want modern tools without sacrificing stability. While it doesn't have long-term support like Ubuntu or Debian, Fedora is perfect for those who want to live on the bleeding edge of Linux. Arch Linux is legendary in the Linux world. It's a DIY distro that gives you total control. No bloat, no extras just what you build. Arch follows a rolling release model, meaning you always get the newest updates. It also has the AUR, Arch User Repository, a treasure chest of community-made software. But it's not beginner-friendly. You install and configure everything manually. That's why Arch users proudly say, I use Arch, by the way. It's the ultimate distro for power users. Manjaro takes the power of Arch Linux and makes it accessible. Think of it as Arch with training wheels, user-friendly installers, automatic updates, and pre-configured desktop. It comes in XFCE, KDE, and Genome Edition, with the same access to Arch's massive AUR software library. Manjaro is popular among beginners who want the Arch experience without the frustration of manual setup. It's fast, rolling release, and community-driven, making it one of the smoothest Linux experiences for both newcomers and enthusiasts. Linux Mint is one of the most beginner-friendly Linux distros based on Ubuntu. It's loved for its Windows-like interface, making it the perfect entry point for people switching from Microsoft. It comes in Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE editions, each offering a clean, customizable desktop. Mint focuses on ease of use, multimedia support, and stability. With its pre-installed codecs, strong community, and long-term updates, Linux Mint is the distro that proves Linux can be simple, elegant, and reliable. Pop OS. Developed by System76, Pop OS is designed for creators, gamers, and power users. It's based on Ubuntu, but adds extra polish, especially for NVIDIA and AMD drivers, making it a great choice for gaming and content creation. Its tiling window manager improves productivity, while its clean, modern interface makes it feel premium. Pop OS also offers easy encryption for security. With performance optimizations and out-of-the-box hardware support, Pop OS is the distro it says Linux can be professional, powerful, and style it. Elementary OS. Elementary OS is often called the Mac of Linux. Sleek, modern, and beautiful. Built on Ubuntu, it uses the Pantheon desktop, designed for simplicity and elegance. It's aimed at everyday users who want a distraction-free system with polished apps for music, mail, and photos. Elementary even has its own app store with a pay-what-you-want model to support developers. It may not be the most customizable, but for those who value design and focus, Elementary OS is Linux at its cleanest and classiest. Kali Linux. Kali Linux is the hacker's toolkit, built for penetration testing, cybersecurity, and digital forensic. Maintained by Offensive Security, it comes preloaded with hundreds of tools, Wireshark, Metasploit, Aircrack, and more. While it looks like a normal desktop, Kali is designed for experts, not casual users. Its variations include Kali NetHunter for mobile hacking on Android. If you want to learn ethical hacking or security research, Kali is the Swiss army knife of Linux. Powerful, precise, 
and specialized. Zorin OS. Zorin OS is designed to look and feel like Windows, making it a great choice for newcomers who don't want culture shock. Based on Ubuntu, it comes with Zorin Appearance, which lets you switch your desktop to mimic Windows or even Mac OS. It's lightweight, fast, and comes in Core, Light, and Pro editions. Zorin is especially popular in schools and among non-technical users. It's Linux in disguise, ideal for those who want familiarity with all the benefits of open source freedom. CentOS was once the community version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, powering countless servers. After Red Hat shifted focus, Rocky Linux emerged as its true successor, built for stability and long-term support. These distros are about one thing, servers. No flashy desktops, just rock-solid reliability for enterprises, hosting, and mission-critical workload. With binary compatibility with Red Hat, Rocky Linux carries CentOS's legacy, keeping the promise of a free, stable, enterprise-grade Linux alive for the future. Red Hat Enterprise Linux Red Hat is the king of enterprise Linux. Built by Red Hat, it's designed for business, data centers, and large-scale servers. Unlike community distros, Red Hat is commercial. You pay for support, certifications, and enterprise tools. It's not about pretty desktops. It's about security, stability, and scalability. Red Hat powers banks, government systems, and corporations worldwide. Its clones like CentOS and Rocky Linux exist because Red Hat set the standard. If Linux Linux runs the internet, Red Hat is the backbone keeping the business world online. OpenSUSE OpenSUSE is a powerful distro backed by SUSE, known for its Yast configuration tool that makes system management a breeze. It comes in two flavors, Leap, a stable release for everyday users, and Tumbleweed, a rolling release with the latest update. OpenSUSE is developer-friendly, with great support for programming, servers, and virtualization. Its flexibility and professional polish make it a favorite for system admins and power users who want a balance of stability and innovation. MX Linux MX Linux is a rising star in the Linux world. Based on Debian, it's lightweight, efficient, and known for running smoothly on older hardware. Its MX Tool Suite makes system tasks like snapshots, backups, and driver installation simple even for beginners. With XFCE as its default desktop, MX Linux balances speed and usability. It's community-driven and quickly gained popularity as one of the most practical everyday Linux distros that just works out of the box. Gen 2. Gen 2 is the ultimate in Linux customization. Instead of pre-built packages, you compile everything from source, tuned exactly for your hardware. This makes Gen 2 insanely flexible and powerful, but also very time-consuming. It's not for beginners, it's for enthusiasts who want full control. Its famous package manager Portage lets you tweak every detail. Running Gen 2 means you're not afraid of complexity. It's Linux in its rawest form, a distro that demands patience but rewards with precision and performance. So, which distro should you use? The answer is simple the one that fits your needs. Linux isn't about one size fits all. It's about choice, freedom, experimentation. From Ubuntu to Arch, from Kali to Puppy, every distro tells its own story. And that's the beauty of Linux. It's not just an OS, it's a movement. If you support us, then we will bring the next part of the video with other distros. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the Linux universe, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and let me know in the comments. What distro are you running right now?